This is amazing. I'll tell you. If uh, we keep allowing this to happen, there's going to be a, a bad reckoning someday when society snaps to cure this problem we have. I'm going to go ahead and roll. Hey, how you doing? You missed a fight? My name's Sergeant Daniel with the Boris Perry Sheriff's Office. How you doing, boss? Hey. Uh, you mind if I talk to you real quick? First of all, you got an ID so I know who I'm talking to? I can't take your word for it. I got to make sure. All right. Appreciate it, man. I understand you're a veteran. Both of us are, too. Good man, man. Coming on down and talk to us over here real quick. I need to talk to you over here real quick. I need you to get off the tractor, sir. You're coming off the tractor, Mr. Frank. Get off the tractor. Get off the tractor. Mr. Frank, I have a warrant for your arrest. I don't know what the warrant's for, but I do have a warrant for your arrest. I don't know what the warrant's for, but I have a warrant for your arrest. Really? It's at the sheriff's office. We can discuss it when we get there. We are going to see it. You're coming with me to see it. I'm not looking for Get off the tractor, sir. Okay. Who took the warrant? I'm sorry? Who took the warrant? I don't know who signed the warrant. Yeah, why would you have a warrant for me? It's at the office. We can take a look at it when we get there. I'm not the one who got the warrant made. No, what warrant would you have? Mr. Frank, the warrant's at the office. We'll see it when we get there. What warrant would you have? Show me one. Wow, he don't even have the warrant with him to prove his allegations to this person. Irrelevant if he's a police officer or not. You still have, have the right to be shown what you the the accuser you're an accuser and you need to show this person what you're accusing him for not well we'll we'll just figure it out some down the road and and you just have to comply right now because i said so because i'm god and the government gave me a badge and i can tell you what the fuck to do i can even fucking murder you it's at the office i'll show you, show you when we get there don't have it with him. No, you can't arrest me. Yes, sir. He's right. No, you need to show me a warrant. Yes, you're Step right. Track. Show me a warrant. Step off the track. Ah, uh, sir. Step off the track. Step off the track going to take you. Get off the track. Here we go. Step off the track. You don't have to They're going to enforce the violence on the guy. Mr. Frank. Get confirmed? Yeah. Go ahead. Here we go. Get off the track, Mr. Frank. Get off of the tractor now. You don't have a warrant. Get off the tractor, dude. Get the fuck off. Murder in progress. Murder in progress. Criminals murdering this it, poor guy. Murder in progress. I'm just doing my job. Ha ha ha! Fucking stupid fuckers. Fat motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Get off the tractor while they're electrocuting you and your body, you have no control of your body. Inept, brainless fucking wonders. Comply! Fuck, I can't control myself, you dumb motherfucker. Murder in progress. This is called murder in the first degree by your government fucking officials. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching First Degree Murder. It's called First Degree Murder. 
Do you think anything will happen to these fucking pieces of shit? Scum of the fucking earth that do this? Oh, it even gets better. You watch. He's passed out. The heavy breathing is from the fucking unfit, fat fucking cop. <laughs> they must be trained to parrot chirp while they're talking, so don't move, don't do this, stop doing this. Well, look, uh, Your Honor, I was telling them all these things and they didn't listen. Ah. You can tell he's a fat motherfucker. Look at that fat arm. When you come into the parking lot, head straight left down the furthest lane on the side. Subject isn't actively fighting anymore, but we still can't get him moved. Yeah, because he's passed out. You choked him out. You murdered the guy. You dip fucking shit. You're so stupid. You didn't even realize you just fucking murdered the guy. That's how fucking inept you are. Move your right leg. Get your right leg up into the seat. Wait till we can from over here. I got Now he's awake again. Fucking in a farm, wallowing in the mud. Most of them, look at them, how out of shape they are. More than half of them, right there. Overweight, couldn't run a fucking mile if they wanted to. Look at him. Charger. Charger, you know the charger he went coming off with? 
Who's the tractor? Sir, it's him. Who's his? Who's Sir Bill and Arthur Tractor? Sir, Frank. Who is he? Uh, Armando Frank. Oh. Remember the guy whose gate I ran over? Says I. The what? The guy, the dead guy whose gate I ran over? We we're still figuring out he was dead. That's his son. Is he breathing? We're so dumb we don't even know if he's alive after we murdered him. Damn! I, I just can't. I don't. I didn't know I murdered him. I'm so stupid. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, there's gonna be a day of reckoning coming. You know it. We can't allow these people to continue, continue to abuse people in this manner and allow them to murder people in the name of a law that I was doing my job. If they cannot be held accountable, the worst to come will happen, believe me. And it's already happening around this country horribly. And they get away with it. Because if they start prosecuting a bunch of cops for murder, for murder, which we already lost trust with you, they think by putting their little children that are untrained and are inept to even realize what they're doing, to a person saying I'm upholding the law and I'm doing my job and that's an excuse to murder somebody and the law does not do a fucking thing about it. And I mean the legal system itself. So there is going to be, and it's not me saying this, I might be proclaiming it, but there is going to be a day of reckoning coming. It's manifesting, and it's going to happen. And unfortunately, you guys, I really feel bad for you. I truly do, from the bottom of my heart, when this day comes, because you're going to have nowhere to hide, and nobody is going to protect you. I, I really <laughs> assure you that. You will become like the fox at the royal hunt where they're going to let you run and they're going to get you. There will be nowhere to hide. And I wouldn't hide at your house because you'll put your family in danger. I would go hide in the desert somewhere and in, in the woods and, and just disappear. Because when this day comes, and as I said, it's in nature this is going to happen. It's a natural phenomenon that will happen. Trust me. And you're manifesting it by your actions. That day of reckoning is manifesting. And if you don't take heed to it and start changing your ways, that's the only way that this manifestation will go in another direction. Otherwise, you're painting the line and the road directly to this da disaster that is coming. And I rest assure you this, I guarantee it, that I can't guarantee how soon or when it'll happen, but it will happen. 